there. Oh, with the rest of them. Here, take a little put in his mouth. And then I have a Nicely done, nicely done. As this happens and everyone is crowding around Leon, you will know there is a sound twing from the tops of the mountain behind and there will be two arrows coming in, rolling. <laughs> Torty, Vezrin, you oh. currently have your backs to the two archers. As the arrows come in, you can hear the whoosh before anything hits. However, with two 19s, your armors will hold. Resume. Get up, little Griffin. Yeah, we'll bring him inside together. Come on. With a six, it goes wide, Vezrin. The nearest arrow will miss you, and in 18, you will return, and the one on the left. I've been here a lot. Hurry up, take them out. Now, don't let go. Or I'm going to have to kick your face in a little, okay? Fuck you! <laughs> for the new, the good you get what you need. I'm in love for you. <clears throat> Make sure he doesn't spit. Push the fuck just... down. <laughs> Try to get oh, to six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> no. Fuck. Oh, no. Well. Oh, no. 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 Fuck me. See when I have any potions left. I've got one. Can I have one? Fucking idiot. Throw your, your potions. Oh, yeah. Help my leg. <laughs> oh, oh, I love it even more when I struggle, Leon. Keep testing. Can you a potion? Do it. Uh, this is the give me a fucking reason. Give it to me fast. right there. Set a perimeter if you could still walk. Well, then I need you. Waiting on rolls. <clears throat> All right, what's taking place? Uh, Marin, um, Kyla's going to need a couple rolls. He got jumped on by a good three or four of them, and he went hand to hand with I think his name's Leon by himself for a long while. Probably three or four, maybe. So how many injuries am I rolling for? C so three. Okay, three. Okay. You have full leather now, right? So you're plus three. Yep. With a nineteen, a seven, and a two, you will have one critical and one major. Come on. Try this. Come on. Rolling. Look at me. Oh, fuck. Potion. Oh, no. You can't do it. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, Potion. Normal. I reckon Casual. that's supposed to stop that sort of thing. 
Potion comes down your throat, Kyler, and with a 17, you'll feel the familiar warmth spread across your body. This is for the critical, I assume? Yeah. Critical is healed. You have one major. I'm out. I've got a bandage. Yeah, I gave you me. Please, keep going. I'll do what I can. With a nine minus two. It's sloppy work. your situation? But she's able to bandage it. Just enough. He's still got a pretty bad wound. All we have is bandages. I have a bandage and it advanced the emotion. I'm just tired. Keep your fucking Major eyes critical open. left. Which one? Major Major's left. <laughs> and we'll bring him to the clinic. He'll probably reach a critical by the time we get there. I'm not going to risk bandaging him if I don't have to. Gerbum, get What's answers that? from that piece of shit. I don't care what you do. I don't care. <laughs> get answers. Come on, you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Get for the drink. I... I, I do have an advanced... Yeah, potion, but... No. And a bandage, but my arm's bleeding as well. Have you ever seen what glass... I'm decent with a bandage. <clears throat> I can take care of you if you want. Well, Anna, before you go... I'm gonna need you to get this thing out of my chest. <laughs> Ross. Hold him. Maybe I should make it. Uh, and then I can. Just so you are clear. I got it. What's about I can you? give him the uh, potion. Particularly squeamish. Not a question. Imagine this is now easy to do. Do not allow it. Into the eye. Shattering it. And cuts will ooze out of it. With a 13 plus 2. Oh. It'll be well done <laughs> and cinched down. <laughs> With an eight, that mm. eye is gone forever. Yeah. So now we have a baseline about what happens when you make me angry, Leon. Sorry about oh. this. So, I'm going to take this flask out of your mouth. <laughs> Three, two, two. If you don't... <laughs> So I'm going to make sure every single second of your existence is You'll see, it's a major wound. Pure fucking agony. You will be begging me. We, we need to get them back right now. Give me a potion. Now, get the wagon, now! Where was that potion that they gave you? In my hand. Use it. You. You think I've been doing this before? Oh, oh, shit. Rolling. I know all the tricks. Oh, you got it. Go ahead. Done myself. What kind of potion is this? Well, Plus two, two, two. Let's see if we can teach an old dog a few new tricks. Is that sword through your hand? My favorite way. Arn, you shake for a moment, knowing that if this doesn't work, you're in bad shape, and you might not make it back to the clinic in time. Slam on your foot. Nonetheless, you'll drink it down. With a 19 plus 2, the injury is saved. What about you think is your artery for your thigh, huh? Get him in a cart. Come on, yeah. If you're injured, hey, listen. If you're injured, one of the carts are leaving. Get the injured in the cart now. Get the fucking cart. Do we have any more bandages? By chance. Sorry. I'm okay. It's bleeding out. Come on. He's not fucking okay. The cards are right here. They're oh. right here. I don't know where the right fuck here. that fucking courier is going. Which one has room in the back? Panicking. Uh, both of them, they've been Just this one in the back. Clear, clear, clear this crap. And She's gonna set Kyler in the back. Drive. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody has a patient. I have one, but has he had one yet? He's had a couple. Oh. Do you have one? I have a level two potion, yes. <clears throat> Will you give it to him? Of course. If he fails, he's going to critical and wants him to go to the clinic, so there's less yeah. chance of it. Just so you're aware of the mechanics.
I didn't know about the mechanics. Hold. Think I should stay? Keep it for when we get to the clinic. I trust you. Right, understood. Are you injured? <clears throat> Thank you for the mechanic update. Yep. And stay with us. Oh, fuck. When, when I, I need to drink a potion, so maybe. Good. On this See, I'm a cool kid and I have no go now, so. Now. <laughs> hey! Yeah. Uh, Fucking focus, you idiot. Actually, let's just back it up. What the fuck were you doing? Fighting. I get that, but you had no shield, no defense, and you went up against several people like that. Are you fucking dumb? And we're stuck on this one. Free bird, that shit. <laughs> this, yeah, this other cart's really fucking me. Guess I got some aggression to cut out. Hello. I get that you have aggression. That's fine. Everybody's got feelings, but you can't die. You Watch understand that, right? Yeah. I need help moving the barricade. All right, fine. Put the cart up there. We'll you say it. that and you're not looking at me. Are you fucking stupid? Do you understand? But every single time we come out here, I put my life on the line for you. For you to do something so fucking stupid. No, that's one of these damn things. Does my life mean nothing to you? So I haven't seen when the spark is just bleeding out. I'm of course. Fuck. <laughs> then don't be stupid. I gotta not wear a team now. Same with the rest of the people around you. You yeah. can sneak around, you can do whatever you want to get flanks, but once we're fighting as a team, we're a team. Why won't you fucking look at me when I talk to you? You think this is fun? Watching you bleed out. You get used to it. Close those fucking barricades. I'm not going to get used to it. <sighs> My job is to keep you safe. For better or for worse. <sighs> so when I watch you bleed out, I watch our future bleed out with it. Do you understand that? Be more careful. Right. Good. Get him out of here. <laughs> Yes. Now breathe. Because I've got a very yeah, fucking yeah, long lecture and a very long yeah, training Marcus, session for you at home. Marcus, uh, I need you. Hurry up. Marcus, what is your, the extent of your What's injuries? Do not Two majors. Understood. Nothing will. One was to the thigh, one's to Go. the shoulder. Use it if you have to. Steel. Okay. <sighs> Move, <Okay>. peasants. Move, <laughs> peasants. <laughs> okay. Fucking idiots. I told them to save your fucking potions for you. Seeing right here, which is the way out. It goes this way. <laughs> Fucking got me. I don't know. Hey! The waterfall, I remember that. Yeah. Talk to me, you fucking asshole. I know you didn't fucking pass out. <clears throat> What's there to say? And there's the wrap around here. I wish you talked to me about your technique back there. It was sloppy. Felt like I did pretty well. I didn't die. Well, well, we reserve that right for when we get to the clinic. You had every ability to use your second dagger hand as a protective element. Why didn't you do it in the beginning? It's keeping range. They had pole arms. <laughs> it's all right. And yet you jumped right in at the end. Okay. If that's the river, that means to the right. We've had this talk. I get whatever you're feeling. You're feeling. You can't let it control you on the battlefield. There are too many people depending on you. 
It doesn't normally. I'll get over it to the main road. Then someone oh, needs to, to have a talk. The fuck happened in my time away that you're such an emotional little fruit? Oh, thank you. Uh, I think this is the right way. See you later. That was not the Looks time. Looks like it. I'll let you know if you're going the wrong way. Okay, thank you. Then we will talk about it later. But best believe if your life is in my hands when we go out, you're best going to tell me what the fuck is going on. Going the right way. Mm -hmm. We're coming up on the cross keys now. How's your pain? It's pretty bad. You're right, Clifford. Take a breath. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Just, just tired. Just hold on to the card. Where's the injury? I'm leaning yeah, on right the Don't think about anything Ooh. else. You and I can't do everything we're supposed to do if you die on me. Who the fuck am I gonna have to save me from horrible dance lessons and horrible courtiers? Marcus, if you choose, you'd feel Sarabeth's hand kind of holding your chest piece from the back. Yeah, that's all right. I suppose I can't let you down like that, can I? To be honest, I don't think you can feel it. <laughs> Come no, on. like it or not, our futures are entwined. You're not allowed to die on me. The pressure's there, but he's hard focused. <laughs> Come on. I didn't let Morden down from the orc, so I'm not letting you down. You want a tip? Be alright, we just need yes. to ensure Sharik's safety as well as your own. When this shit happens, no, I go before and it happens go. a lot, <laughs> you gotta double check to see him. I'm in one piece, Marcus. I did. I pulled an arrow out of his chest I before I took care of okay. you. He will tell you he's fine, but he's not. He'll be nursing a critical injury. He's anyway, not so my prerogative. <laughs> Tazim <laughs> told me to take care of you. Oh You're the future, Sharik. I want you to take one of the ropes from the cart and tie it around you're your Gwyn's future and you're my future. Do not fall off the cart. Do you understand? I know as well as he does that my duty is to protect you. Listen to the sound of the woman's voice. So stop bleeding all over my fucking hand and control your breathing. I'm trying. Things are a little um, shaky right now. I get that. Big breath in, big breath out. You've got two very competent people stirring. You're very right, Marcus. This is easy work. <laughs> I survived four months on the hell. I could survive this. I take it you didn't like being underground then? No. I didn't like it. Just gonna slump against the side. For a man who lives his entire life in the sun, as soon as it's gone from you, it feels like your life's gone too. And yet here you are. <laughs> and yet here I am, blessed by the sun. Oh god, come on. You should hit him. Make way! No, no I try. shouldn't. Ten points. No. We don't have Make to get way. along. But I need you to live, alright? <laughs> Oh yeah, he's one of the surgeons, probably not. Straight to Venoras. Venoras? Uh, are we going to the surgeon or Venora? I thought the surgeon was locked down. Fuck, you're right. Where do you want to go? Venora oh, should be in. Try. I'll have to take a rest. No, 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 no. No resting. Okay. None of that. Good. That sounds really oh, good. Too. It's good enough. Oh, Where's the Nora? We have multiple wounded. Hop to it. Come on, Marcus. You down first. Everyone up. Dismount. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're hurt, but you need to help. <laughs> Up, up, up. 
Focus. Breathe. Thought of your training is dealing with this. Take a minute. We'll walk to the door. Come on. Get inside. Sit down. You got that potion on standby, right? Sure do. It's got his name on it. Good. All right, it's both of them on the benches. Upstairs, Marcus, bench. Sharik, bench. Over there. Come. I'm not trusting the stairs right now. All right. Understood. Wait outside. Please just make sure none of them stop fucking <gasps> anything. And if they do, we have multiple. Ever. I didn't oh, know whether to bring them to the clinic or here Who's because the clinic. She's a noble, Laudia friend. She's can a she friend. heal? Oh. She can. Yes, I can heal. Him. What is it? He's Him got first, an injury please. to his gut. Marcus, armor off. So oh, bad. Critical now. It's gonna take Major. Us. Oh, it's a critical now. Yes. Oh, Progress to critical. Okay. Someone will be here any minute. I would trust him to clamp then down. Then we'll get him quicker. Leader. He's coming. He's coming. Well, I'm your squire for now. Laugh at that all you want. Just hold it for now. His breathing is slow <sighs> and ragged. He has been injured for a long time I'm going to put my head now. outside. This is a lot. Yes. Hey, 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 to hey. To confirm, please. it... Progressed, it wasn't failed treatment, it correct? Progressed right. from a major it to was a not failed, yeah. Okay. Correct. She's not gonna wait hey. for summer. Take the armor. Hey, really? come on. <laughs> Marcus is gonna hold Sterile out a stitching. Use it on him if you can. You hear Summer come behind you. Just as you were about to begin. She's doing the action. She said to go on. To go for the one on the bench. You're the Rolling. Bench. Fucking more of them in there. Come on, Go. Kyla, please. Come on, Kyla. Holy fuck. Lottie, hey. uh, you begin. So, Matt, as you walk in, Kyla. you see that Lottie has already begun to start the treatment. But this is clearly a critical injury. If this fails, he will be on death's door. No doubt about it. Kyla, please, wake up. Lottie, uh, you begin fuck to me. stitch. Slowly, carefully, <laughs> remembering Come your on. training. There's hey, a lot come on. of blood, and Drink. the hair is just continues to come out, but it's slowing down. He probably doesn't have a lot left. Whatever is left. What are you doing? Slowly, slowly the, we'll begin to close the wound for a moment. You almost get in the wrong places a little too tight here, a little too loose there, but you're able to course correct. And with a 5 plus 2 for a 7, thanks to your training, you are Kyla. just barely able to save this man's life. His breathing sorry, so much. becomes just, more normal. I couldn't wait. Have you looked at this one yet? I know, I know. There's Did it work? Another. Has... Looking at the wound, what is Did it work? Cold. And he's breathing fine. He's not breathing. He's not bleeding out actively. He just needs water Marcus and rest. Out. Just to make sure he makes. Thank you. What level of injuries are these? Forget this. Hey, come on. I had a critical wound on my leg. I took an advanced healing potion and Sorry, I don't have time to wash my hands. I had to wake up, please. With no training, so you would say he was had, this whole time has been bleeding out through his thigh. Understood. Uh internal injury. Right. Looks like come a bruise here. And treated, his shoulder. His he's been treated, but he's not waking up. Into it. But it has been untreated, so I need DM. Anything else? Or is that just those right. two? One second. Should you come over? I wasn't told I think it's Come on, all, your, all of your friends are here, please. Oh, please okay. wake up. If you received a hit and you weren't given an injury roll, let me know. You can call your injury. Come on. I'll buy I'll Alex, buy uh, you as as, as many as many oranges as you as you as you want. I thought the clinic was shut down so I, uh, came here. Come on. No, it's not. Okay. Top floor. Okay. <laughs> Come oh, on, wake up! up the leg one, once more to hey. see if the potion's doing its job. I have two majors that have been untreated. I think it's past the timer. You are absolutely in the realm of two criticals now, as it has been too long without treatment. 
So I need you to Kyla, as Soma runs his over, shoulder. he immediately slumps over and his head slams Perfect. against the table unconscious. He has been untreated for too long. Yep. Get this. Holy shit. Look, it's your favorite. Come on, come on. Got it. So fucking orange. I'll, I'll take care of this one. Clamping the crap. <laughs> Seb it down to the artery. <laughs> Sterile yep, stitching. The Lottery, you are do- Lott- yep, clamped. You are handling the second one. <laughs> yep. Idiot. Please make sure he eats this. He's fucking gem. No, As come back here. Injury is clamped on away. the top. Claudia, you away. begin to work on the bottom. Your sterile stitching out. Your hand's a bit more steady now. Okay. With a 12 Let's plus 2 for a 14. Yeah. The injury treatment is successful, gem. and this man will not die this day. He cannot okay. fight anymore today. Whatever happened, he cannot all right. fight anymore. It doesn't yeah, have no. Oh Jesus Christ! Hey, Wait, I mean, yeah. Come on, oh, Venora. What's going on? What are we doing? All over. All right, everything good on here? We're living. That's what we're doing. Oh, you just let him go. Welcome back. So much. Living. Any pillows or anything? Oh, someone looked at him. If anything. Everyone <laughs> He's all right, I promise. Soma, status on Clifford, please. It's okay. That's Friend fine. of yours. He is fine. He's treated. Okay. Everybody's treated. That's fine. He is treated. Do you mind helping me move him somewhere? Everyone in here is treated. More calming. He's fine. He's fine. I promise. The gods. The gods. Gotta move him somewhere comfortable. Okay. Are you okay? Is that yeah? your blood? Yeah. Come on, me. Please look down to these tapers. Your hands are yours. Yeah. What the hell happened? No, 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 no. A lot more. So we need right. to be ready. We need to be ready. More bandages. <laughs> yeah, we need to clean the clamps. Did you place a pillow on front mm-hmm. of here. He needs to okay. eat. Okay. Lightly put him down. More Can than just an orange. Yes. Yes, I did. I'll get him food. Okay. Okay. I think she's okay. moving him to a comfortable place. Yes. Yes, right right. now I'm in the process. I'm in the process of gently. One of the pillows will have anything. Give him the bed if he's the worst of the bunch. He's been treated as well as everyone has. He's definitely bad. Beds upstairs. All right, we'll get him up. Come on, come on, okay. Just a little longer. He then would give everything. Come on, lady. Come on, let's go find your bed, Morden. Come on. Thank you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I I can explain. Where's Marco? The arresting pillows. We went on a mission. I need to find I need to and Sharik did his best. Oh, they're friends. Yeah. I've seen you two together. You're looking rough. Um the girl used it uh, to wake him up, perhaps. Oh, Sean. Oh, Sean. What about... I... Yes. I did my best. If... If... Wars come and... I did. He was... I was... My two advanced potions to him. We have some here, but he has two more here. We have two in storage. Use it. I do not care. Okay. All right. I mean, Catch for the, the ones that are coming in. Okay, see, everybody's in a shock. Okay, okay. Right. Um, actually, no, priorities. There's going to be more injured coming, I can almost guarantee it. What? Okay, um... What the hell? Grab your hands. Um... All right, not now. Yes, I get it later. <laughs> later problems. Sure. Um, <laughs> there's so much. Where are you, sir? And I came in late, so I don't know. Down oh, there here. you are, sir. Oh. Um, so your eyes on him. Let me check time. to the others. We two of the advances to Mark on May today. We have one advance, two the Alchemist shop has, and we have three in storage. So we have one, two, three, Good. four, five, six. If we six. need another we one, six. I have another one on my person as well, level two. Okay. We have six I have a major and an advanced. Okay, okay, so we have plenty. Okay, we have okay, set so we have plenty. Good, good. Okay. I'm gonna go watch the road and make sure so that they come in in one piece. Marcus, he's this is becoming a bad habit, isn't it? Marcus, Marcus is stable. Everyone is no, stable. No, no, Everyone's no, been no, 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 no. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I'm good. Well. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> you stopped her. I can, uh, I can no. help with potions. What do you need me to do? Well, we have, okay, so with O'Shawn's potions, is here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six advanced healing potions within the apothecary. Total. 
and 20 bandages. <sighs> no, 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 no. Get the damage yes, and I've also got my own stereo stitching and bandages and everything. I so much check. Potion. Please don't date a scumbag. Check, check her, please. Are you lying? That's I'm not lying. They use the no one to check himself? I promise. You'll see that she had two criticals that were healed by potions. Well, if you can say that you have potions back? and such, then you have. I can see so, a couple of wounds that are clear as day. They'll be back on another card. But they seem to be doing no, its I job. No, I meant her. Does she need help getting back somewhere? Can you check on the boy upstairs? I'm fine, I promise. I already, I already have several times. Oh, They've taken wolf, potions wolf if they, if they right. said that they I'll have. keep an eye out for the other coming in then. Sorry for the men. There's a fucking man. No, no, you're fine. More than there is no holding on. There's no time to explain right now. Yet yeah, you'll need to you'll need to stop thinking about what will happen if they all keep coming here. The guards are going to report it. Stop by Check at the our guard. area. Go to. It. They'll come oh. here in force if they report it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Tell them to go through the dwarven storage chamber and to Arn's home. They won't be seen. Put them there. So that when people come out of here, they're not questions. You've already got an Imperial standing outside. Yep. Look, I'll I will try, Imperial, but I am not a fucking leader. If they decide to come here, <laughs> I cannot stop them. That's fair, then. Yes, I'll try. Can do. Yes, ma'am. Just go. Well, I'll see what I can do. I'll see. Right. I'll see what I can do to help get them out of here without any questions being asked. Well, then, get rid of the Imperial. Give them some time. That's Just the plan. Time, I was least. trying to try... Oh, okay. I was yeah, trying no, to tell I'm them to bring the one. next group. Right. So forgive me, Trust me, I fully attention. understand. <laughs> Thank you, Lord One. They've been checked, they've been tended uh, to. Oh, keep right by them. Uh, um, I think... Um, some, I think we need to go to Arn's home. That's where they're gonna meet up us at, I think. With more injured? If that is the case, you let me yeah, know just yeah. so that I can... Okay, okay, I'll I come so that I can run there if necessary. They do so, because if they bring them all here, it's going to yeah. bring some more fucking questions. Mm. If they just go through the storage area, they won't be seen. Uh, yeah. Yes, I know, I understand them. that. Um, and it probably um, would be Soma, best for you... me to talk with the sergeant outside. Yes? Soma, do you do you want me to run over to uh, Tazim's place first and see if there's anybody that needs to be seen by you? <coughs> do that. Okay, Come back right, back right over by me. I'm gonna check yes. over Fuck. by Marcus and if I can only okay. believe that that's Clifford and all that armor. Mm? Gods. What the fuck did you all do? Where did you all go? <coughs> Oi! Hey! <sighs> She's lifting your head up. Slowly. Alright. No. No. Water. No. I need some water. Oh. Fuck, oh, fuck, alright. Uh. Where's the fucking water up in here? She's glaring. The water. <laughs> it is grow water. <sighs> and she puts her head back down. everyone else. Questions for a later time. Right now, just need to be in the middle of saving fucking all of you. <laughs> just, no one's dead, are they? <sighs> Don't 
No. Not all here. What's going on? Sarah and Elle are obviously going to go look for the others that are not on their way. Harry's gotten rid of the car out front, so we've lost a lot of our least our notoriety right now. A few people are looking and yeah. staring, but we've cleared them all out. I'll have you remain here. Good. Basil's upstairs. If anything, I'll, I'll ask you with Harry, because that is the only compromise the Imperials would take. If anything, we can't have Basil's them upstairs? parading us. She's with Harry. She's fine. Mm. Outside on the porch. All right. Trust me. Harry's okay. A, Harry's a good man, an even more excellent sword fighter. So I know, I know. Chance. I can trust him. I can trust him. The only thing that I need to know of exactly is when that they'll be here and for me to be informed if they are, and I will take the precautions necessary to get my ass over there as quick as possible. And that I will stay with you up to date always. Good. I'm just going to give a quick check. Keep it that way. How is he? St stable. <laughs> Fucking herbs. This is not... <laughs> I imagine it does. I feel tired. You're gonna feel that way for a little bit, but don't worry. You'll be waking up, so... Could I use fusing powder on an open wound? <laughs> no, I didn't make it for that reasoning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just hang in there. Don't plan to throw away friends I've only just made and met. Not throwing away. You're being requested. Whoops. <laughs> Where? Come with me? Go. <sighs> just gonna just have can I get Always by your side, friend. But let me take care at least of the rest of yours. <sighs> She's from out of town. Fuck it. Her name's Olena. She's from where I need to go after all this. She's a lady of Given. She's gonna help us do what we need to do. She's trustworthy. As I said,
opening. Leg is keeping it good for being partially unconscious, if not entirely. <sighs> Christ, Marcus! Oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bloody knife down, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh. A hand hey, of violence. Hey, how's it going? Another hand of violence. <laughs> Uh, I'm fine. At least you're conscious. How you doing? I thought I was having a nightmare. Man. You I'm look sorry. like you've survived a nightmare, if I'm being Four. honest. Letting you get to this point, obviously. Well, it's just another day, right? Jeez, another orange. <laughs> How are you feeling? I imagine a bit numb. <sighs> I feel like shit, but, uh, I guess I'll just walk it off. <laughs> oh, easy, 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 easy. Do not rise so quickly. I'm fine. Your wounds say otherwise. Don't argue this with me. I've seen I'm be fine. you do. Since you're both awake... We're gonna have you rest here for the time being. When night falls, we'll have you at least back in your own beds. At least for that matter of fact. I need to get up and work. No, 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 not. What do you mean, not me? You're not working. For whom? For me. Gotta fix up the damn town. I gotta make sure everybody's stay down, drunk. <laughs> Too stubborn men. There's a town full to of them. Yes. I believe this may be the one time you will see reason. And just for a moment. I'm not asking you two to put everything on hold. What does grow water look like? Rest, please. Sharik. You too. You better not be up, Marcus. Oh, he's I'm not. Up. No. Oh. He's awake, but he's not getting Venora. up. Is this the grow water? Venora told me to grab this from the kitchen. Yes. Ha ha, I'm the potion maker now. Do you think you can give this I to can him? Get up just I can sure he drinks all of it. <laughs> it's grove so. water. Not with all that armor still on. <sighs> I just gotta take it off. I might get turned. We've got like five minutes. We've got to head out. Understood. Try and take I that off. Do. Make sure his head is covered when I'll you transport him back to the house. Oh, Guys, sorry, yes, give me the forever sleep. Go I'll ahead. See you over there. Yep. <laughs> Drink all down. of it. Uh. Venora said it'll make you feel better. Thank you both for taking care of him. Enjoy the pillow. <laughs> Please, come on. Is that Sharik up there? Sharik! <coughs> yes, he's, he's resting, Marcus. Oh, good. I think we should, uh, I think we should Please. move him to the house now. I can move. Or else we'll be left here by ah. himself. Yeah. If you're gonna try okay. anything. Right. Uh. I'm not helping you up, stupid. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be going You two should really wait until midnight, please. Who the fuck no. are you? We don't have it's a just not the case. To. Fuck. I'm one of the wood elf with the uh, fate. Okay. Is it wise for you to do what you need to do tonight? <laughs> Has to be done. <laughs> Me? Pardon? He's injured coming down the stairs, just letting you know. We've Is started. A detriment to yourself. I should probably get this off. 
It needs to get done. We've started the chain of events now. They can't stop. Else we're gonna have inquisitors on our shores. Is there anybody else you could take with you that could be of you, your friend here? Sarah will be there. Ah, You're not exactly in fighting condition. I and I have I am doubt. going. I don't Please think that's take a somebody idea. that can be quiet and helpful. Please. It's a meeting. It shouldn't need to. People nearby, just to help. You're not exactly in full condition. Right now. Chances are. <coughs> We're gonna get to a place. He's gonna put a bag over our heads so we don't know where we are. And we'll have to figure it out from there. If he thinks that we're trying to pull the wool over his eyes, it'll blow everything else up. Shariq, her grip is tighter on your shoulder. It's starting to hurt a little. Please consider just keeping someone nearby. You're not infallible. We've learned that today, obviously. Really? It's... Remember what you asked me before? You said that you couldn't do this without counsel. What's your name, Miss? I'm Lissandra. Yeah. It's my counsel that you keep somebody close you by this evening, even if they're not see you again, Rose Knight. useful. <laughs> right. Suppose you want that to be you. Marcus got a stick. Well, you're gonna lean on me until if anything you're outside with. <laughs> anyway, and then I'll yeah, give look, you a stick. They look more suspicious with that. <laughs> sure. Well, Help me get my shadow. At least carry all your armor instead of injuring yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Thank you. Very sweet of you. Step slowly, bit by bit, bit by bit. I know it hurts. Yeah. Put your teeth in proper. I need to the best way. There you go. She protect me. You look after she. Yes. Everything all right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. If you need anything, I'm downstairs. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna need to if you're trying to head out, do wait a bit. I'd at least like to make these departures spaced about. Not to make it seem like we have a Thank trail you. of blood coming from and out of my shop. If you're going to follow him, is there anything you need to prepare for this evening? I'm gonna run it by Tazim. If he doesn't think it's a good idea, then it's not gonna happen. Let's go. I'll find you when I get back. Take the way through the guilds. Don't take the main. Don't take the main street. Good luck.
back in safe travels, both of you. They just look like mm. absolute dog shit. Yeah. Yeah. Death from the orcs. Uncertainty and fervorism with some of the Imperials. But friends within unknown factions as well. As your eyes linger around the room, they rest on people that you can call allies, or in the very least, acquaintances that for now you trust. Some of you have never had that before. Some of you never do expected to find it. But at least in this moment, as your conversations carry on, you find yourself looking over your shoulder less. You find yourself gripping the handle of your dagger or sword less. You find yourself sinking back in your chair or leaning against the wall a little more. Unpause. He thinks that she's being drugged. She might be being drugged, uh, but something similar to what I give uh, Gabam, the drought. It can do things that can also suppress things as well. If it's suppressing, if she's being drugged, I would should be able to tell. Like a second skin. I see. Certainly hope you could tell Miss Venora, but if you really intend to try and get the Baroness out of the keep, I would advise caution. She would I never go out without her. She door. is pale and wobbly. And I'm, well, that's why we're going to try, we're going to try and get her to walk. Barely looking at you. When I met with the men, I saw them both. Kovaz was escorting you, uh, the Baroness. Some point. Okay. I don't think it's. <coughs> yes, yeah. I have my attention now. Sorry. From what I could see. You're fine. I'll just leave She's this outside. To Still screaming. That's, that's what I want to see if I can diagnose her. Some I need you if I have something that will work, or if I know something that will work, that will snap her out of it to give her a new... All the will and love that she had was gone with Jildar. If I'm still able to be around, we will have this talk tonight. Hold on. It will be tomorrow. Uh, in this. In this. He looks just... Hold on, exhausted. Listen to me. I need more of you tonight. I know. You can all rest yet. Regardless, Marco is going to try and get Kovaz and the Baroness somewhere near the vineyard where I can actually examine her and have a conversation like I wanted to over a month and a half ago when I sent her missives so I can actually engage the woman. More on no. a deeper level. Speaking of which, Vezrin. I'm speaking of experience because I lost my husband. I need you to write up a letter being vague, stating that both Sharik and Sarah are middlemen of yours. And you're sending them because they're discreet. They give the robber baron information that we have stolen from the orc camp. We're going to give him the one map that we have. Showing the location of their forge and their forces. That is how we will get them in, but I need you to provide them with something that will ensure their safety. Can you do that? <sighs> provide them with something that will ensure their safety. I can try and get his word. He's not broken That's it to me. That's what I mean. If 
something that they can hand off on a parchment. Obviously, we'll make sure it's destroyed. Right. I can do that. I can you use my study here? upstairs. Perfect. Mm. Well, now go sit down. You have about five minutes, and then I'm sending you out the door. She wants to be <laughs> around in case I die. At least in the area. No, sorry. It's Cannot. Right. You alright? Yes. I don't think I'll be okay. Trust me, little one. Figuring out if something is wrong. No one cares for that more than I do. You need to be sure you are alone. I understand. few people as you don't trust. Yes. Can you come here for a moment? Can you do something for me, though? They think you're trying something. Can you get my armor from face? Just be me and Marco. And from what Marco has already stated, he already talked to Kovez about knowing an alchemist that I would like to take a look at her. But we're trying to make sure she's out of the keep because I cannot go in the keep because of that elf showed up again. And obviously he knows something. <coughs> he knows something about. Yeah. Uh, it, mm, I don't and think so. Just knock. Good that she showed just knock and I'll up your sleeve a little bit. Wraps a cold towel around the arm. That's going to suck a little bit more because you've lost blood, but it should at least return a little color to your face. Thanks. Oh. You ready to go get your armor on? I asked Wolf to go get it, but she just went upstairs. I don't think she's happy. Oh. Let's go get it. <clears throat> no, probably not. We did go without her. Good luck out there. She wants to come today as well. Tonight as well. Talk to you about your yeah. well, I mean, nothing if you're not able to get back in time for night time, the, the um, logging camp is open. Um, it's an option. Do you mind helping me again? Mm -hmm. I was telling Gabon about yeah. you trying to get Kovaz maybe... Sealed. To come out Plain to markings, to but it's got my signature. Go. As you suggested to him that you might know somebody that might be able to help her. But he is saying we need to be very, very cautious that there's people watching her very closely. People we might not See, be I'm just concerned that somebody's been, you know, giving her too much. And that is to be burned, obviously. Obviously. That very well may be the case. And I hope Don't let him keep it. There'll be trouble if that somehow turns up. I've got plenty. Happy. Yeah. Definitely something. I'm gonna wash this off real quick. Are you sure you're alright? Do you think this is disingenuous? Or... I feel like a fool if I don't know. It's strange. Like, he seems like... I think you did amazing. I've always had this feeling that he's... I watched you jump in front of the sword thing. Trying to, you know, manipulate things. Two-faced? No, 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 no. It's just... The only people that do that are members of the hear me, Uncle Bob. So it's it's more he's like nice he's he's always trying to put himself in situations. Really? Be sure and to bring that back like with you. Well, he's a victim. You Understand? I, I can't guarantee that. I look at him, but it's just like he's hiding something. Think of it like this, Marco. He has always known he is the second son. We were to bathe, and then there was an elf that owes me a story or two. Like that is correct. Good well, I know. Hopefully they're good stories. For me. Hopefully we get to yeah. fight more in the future on better terms. Well, I know yeah. that much that way. I'd take well, a good cup of tea in a conversation. Bring up the oh. sort of money what to even you with, you humans rebuild the walls. Tea. Uh, a man of uh, his brother Kovacs <coughs> has all the money in the world to throw at the tavern. Mind tightening me again? Throw at the uh, poor house. Where does he get the money? Well, what do you think? Seriously, where does he get the money? All right, hold your breath. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>
as I understand it, there is a current agreement. Well, you're getting better at it. All right, other side. I tried really hard on on that one. I can tell. That's what I want to talk about today. That's what you ready? Yeah. And that is his goal. Whereas Kovaz is just throwing <laughs> silver and gold really oh. nice the townsfolk. Oh, I'm sorry. You said I wasn't I doing it tight enough last time. And now we know there's a noble that It'll is keep everything inside me. Bombs. Where does he get the money? Right. There <clears> is no <throat> Are you ready? This is a poor you province. <sighs> Wait, you think that I need to power up. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Let me quickly take a second. I'll be right back down. In the council. Oh, no, wait, that was someone take else that told me that. I'll be on the class. No, you, you told us after one of your meetings. Yay. The major... <coughs> <coughs> that the, the dynasty was in debt. Mm. Right. They're in debt to the Imperial. So they can't even afford them in totality. <laughs> but then again, even Noldos has said that Kovaz has started dipping his I'm fingers sorry. into some sort of slave trade with one of the nobles there to try and generate coin. So it could just as easily be that. I would like Do you to really think that's enough? The gods to this cover everything. Slave trade. I can Slaves buy and sell for a lot, unfortunately. But how much I do be able to move at one time? Stay in the room. The way I think of it is the things that are spread amongst the people are trifles. Coppers, drinks. It's, it's amenities to make people happy in the moment, right? It's larger things that I would bank an eye at. If he was hiring troops, or if he was... <laughs> He's told me to his face he plans to buy this Adela company. Deep into your eyes. Well, I don't see him with yet, the is there pillow, anything that she may see? Mm. Well, I have to pay you, six, no, you had to pay twenty-four. Character. They wanted sixteen from it's the black. It's how she reads. An eight from everyone else. It went up from two. What? Last month. Right now, it's very prideful. I mean, if all the businesses and townsfolk are paying that much, they'll have a hefty sum. Yeah. Hmm. Side note for you, just to add to your There's little something in them is discussion. I haven't texted me. Another thing. thing. <coughs> <coughs> My watch buzzed me again and said that my heart rate had been above 120 for an extended period of time. Frozen in fear when Kovas came up behind them. Another fear? Or perhaps a little Yeah. I remember the tavern wasn't getting enough yeah, food. Yeah, sure. right. 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 Yeah. 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 A mem wanted to do that. Mm. A mem. Well, Kovac. Mm. Yes. Is someone who's not supposed to be in this room and tell them to go away? Oh, well, they're both getting gold from somewhere. The back door. <sighs> maybe there was some deal we didn't know. Or maybe he was just trying to, you yeah, know, take on credit, right? Yes, he was. Mm. Uh, we're close. The news is closing in. He was genuine I'm sure. about his intent. Yes, Miss Bobby, can you go over and what was his intent? I don't think so. Brief yeah, explanation. Where is she? I informed <coughs> him about the... Um, upstairs. I'm here. Sorry. Just had to... I'm down here. Get it. Get it. Up from yep, 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 yep. And the potential <laughs> of them being paid. The two of you come with me. Which they are still being paid, even though they're not. <coughs> Thanks for lap time I'll be back. by the Same. embassy. Of course. He's going to start sending missives so they can start boxing need, the robber baron. Start boxing the orcs to the north. To check up on your life. And once that's Let's done... Go. It'll be secure. It's coming out of such a small lady. He's been fucking hanging around like a vulture wanting to talk to you. Your horse. <clears throat> you take it. You ride for the ambush point, you wait for them to pick you up. Uh, where is this point? Have the conversation, I don't care. You mean the... 
The place where you were fighting those orcs. Exactly. Got it. You go there. Listen. Don't get killed. <clears throat> not get killed. We'll play it safe. Play the game. Be non-lethal. If he really is as close with Vezran as they say, you'll be alright. Take a number of how many men are there, ins and outs, windows, doors, everything. And if you want to genuinely try to get a measure of them, go ahead. It's in your hands now, boys. And you, Sarah, keep them alive. Always. I'll do most of the talking if I can while I'm doing that, and you try and get a measure on everything around. I'll try and do that too, but I'll be distracted trying to keep him not, you know, hostile towards us. Right. <clears throat> I'll follow your lead. I won't speak out of turn either, I don't want this fucker. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. You're gonna be alright riding the horse. Gonna have to be. <sighs> I'm sorry, Shariq. Four. There were so many of them. Not keeping your back safe. And uh, I will get sassy with you for a moment, but you did it again. Twice. <clears throat> you up? She's holding you extra tight this time. Yeah, well, I fucked up last time, so I figured I'd make up for it. Yeah. Hold, 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 hold on. No more of that. Hold on, you two. We don't really have time, Daisy. This is all I'm going to say. Please be careful. We're gonna go smooch. Leave us alone. should not be going out. We're gonna go make drow babies. Drabies. Uh huh. Bow chicka bow wow chicka bow wow bow chicka bow wow. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up. You cutie. Elena picked me immediately. Picked you. She knew something was wrong. She did better than I did. I had no idea you were injured. No, I mean how I was fighting. Oh. Is that what she was yelling at you about in the back of the... <laughs> One of many things, yes. <clears throat> I can tell she yells the same way your father <coughs> does, out of fear and love, not out of anger. Yeah, it took me a bit to get used to it. <laughs> I don't know how. I can't. I, I can't fucking stand it. Don't like yelling. When we fight these dread knives. I'm gonna need you to keep me on the right path with it. Keep me level. Otherwise, it's gonna be more stuff. Do what I can for you. I need to figure out a better way to not always be a fucking damsel. <clears throat> I'm not a damsel. You're not. But when they close the distance, I'm gonna get in the way, Sarah. Need to worry about yourself for once. Because one day you're gonna save my life and then you're not gonna be here. Then what was the point of me living anyway? <clears throat> to carry on my good deeds. Sharik, if you left me on this sorry excuse of a fucking pizza crust of a surface, 
I would do such bad things. <laughs> things I'm not even ready for. So you're not allowed to die. I'd like to hope that you'd look after Tazim. I would try my best. But I don't like thinking in hypotheticals. Not when they involve you not being here. It's just not how it's going to work. I forbid it. <clears throat> Forbid it. Yes. You're not allowed to die. Oh, sure. Well, in that case. <laughs> Good. I'm glad we're on the same page now. I hope these guys don't fuck with Maelstrom. Does Maelstrom know how to run away when you tell them to? Yeah, but I kind of don't want to do that. I'd like to ride him if possible. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> this is all riding on Vesrin. So we'll see where it goes. We might both not return home tonight. Yeah. This is the part where I'd say, but at least we're together, but... Cute. <laughs> well met. Fuck. Well met. Off the horse. I'm here to uh, have a meeting with Robert Baron on behalf of Bezrin. We knew this would happen. It's okay. It'll be okay. Iron slides around the hands. Latching on. And around the ankles. What are these little toys? I'll take these for the time being. What else do you have on you? Hmm? Coin. He's gonna do a quick search. You're gonna find two units of Gradian Spice, a fat bag of silver, and that's it. Right. Oh, and a red potion. You'll find that on her too. <clears throat> All right. You two are gonna come with us. We're gonna walk carefully. We're gonna follow the sound of my voice. I'm gonna lead you both. Come. Please care for the horse. Take care of the horse. Little sleep on the chain. The sound of a man's voice. There's another sound, Sarah. Somewhere Come in the along. back of your mind. A sound of yourself. That you shall never be tamed again. You try to quiet it. Holding your faith in your drow companion. But you're not both being led to your death. Going down. Won't be very long. Just a little hike through the woods. 
Hmm. I assume once you learn to trust us more, this won't be necessary every time we meet the Robber Baron. It's kind of an inconvenience. <laughs> That's not up to me, my friend. That's up to his lordship. <clears throat> his lordship? He's a rubber baron. Suppose so. You know as, who he was. As you walk forward, the chains are heavy on both your legs and your hands, but you aren't yanked along. You're just guided carefully. You can tell that the path itself isn't nearly as well walked as you had hoped. <clears throat> Careful, sharping thing down. Oh my god. <laughs> I heard that most of his men were originally part of the... It was quite a long time before your friend uh, didn't have to go through all of this. Ah. Well, I make friends pretty my quick. My lord's trust is not so easily won. <clears throat> I'm sure I can woo him. <laughs> Perhaps you can. We shall surely see. Uh, we just want to help out, that's all. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? But if your intentions are true, your motives are just, you want to see a brighter future for this province. I'm sure that his lordship will, uh, will see that in you. He has a way with people, you know. So I've heard. He's quite he's charismatic. Into your eyes, he can take the measure of a man. Oh, yes. We have endured a great deal of hardship being away from our families, from our friends. But we do it for him. We do it for what he stands for. You've got me all excited to meet him now. <laughs> you should be excited. We are all almost there. <clears throat> Careful. Some of these trees have twigs and branches. Lower your head. Appreciate it. It is only a short way now. Looks like the guest has arrived. Sarah, you're able to focus enough to avoid any kind of lashing out or panic. Get the gate. Your mind, but somewhere your heart just being in chains again. Yeah. Feel like you can hold it together, but it's all riding on face now. Take me to his lordship. Hmm. Everyone's in. Shutting the that where he is? I do not know. Fucking. This word. <coughs> Apologize. He, that one is new. Another defector from the guard. Only a matter of time. Up the ramp. Inside. You. Watch your step. <laughs> watch it. Yep. W watch your step. I'm guiding I you. Come on. I see. There you go. There I you go. Get that looked at. As well, you know. You can tell his. Uh, you can tell our lord about it. Watch your step. Okay. Up these stairs. 
careful. Be careful. There's a little bit of clutter. There you go. Very good. Very good. I'm up his staircase oh, now. No. Gods. Thing above the four crates there, and then more. I'm gonna use it because he's yeah. when it goes dark. Fuck. Well, <coughs> Poggers. Break up the guns. <coughs> oh, hold on. Stay right here. Good thing I bought my gas burner. Okay? Yeah, I'm, I'll just. Somebody bring it out. Somebody like I'm gonna run anywhere. I'm blind. <laughs> My free! Thank you! You're not free yet, yep, until I tell you. Sergeant, where is he? <laughs> Where's the meeting room? It just turned dark, I can't <coughs> see. It's all downstairs. Shit. He's not there currently. Oh my All right. lord. Find the sitting spot for them. Find a sitting spot for our guests. <laughs> oh, he's lord. I think he's lord should want us in here. Here. Get out. Where? Come. <laughs> What's going on? I can't Whoop. see. Okay. <laughs> Ow. You can leave them upstairs. I'm I will sorry. Be there shortly. Come along. Oh. <clears throat> I fucking hate this. It'll be okay. Come, surgeon. Be light. All right, the two of you. Face the wall so I can take your chains off. Where's the... I'm gonna assume this way? He orients you oh. towards the wall. Thank you. <laughs> Enzo doing your chain, Kyler. <laughs> chains are undone, Sarah. Blindfolds. <laughs> As the chains and the blindfolds taken off, Sarah, you feel a wave of relief. It doesn't matter if this would be your tomb. It doesn't matter if this is the final room you'd ever be in. You think whatever gods may be above or below, that these chains are finally off. Welcome. Can we turn around? Let's keep, or... Please make yourselves comfortable and at home. Thank you. He will be with you shortly. Yes, you may turn around. <clears throat> Could you turn that thing off, please? It is hurting my face quite badly. Turn the light off, Sergeant. Oh, so much better. Oh. My eyes. Stand guard by the door. Kyler, you take a quick scan around the room. It seems fairly well furnished, although the structure of the room itself seems like what you've come to generally know as a description of where the robber baron may be, a kind of older keep stuck out in the forest. Stonework doesn't exactly look like anything smoothed over or modern. If it's smooth Do at all, really it's from age more than anything. <laughs> Additionally, you try to consider in your mind where you may be in the keep. You, you, of course, recall being led up some kind of spiral Yo, bro, you got the Minecraft bed. So you realize you're perhaps somewhere off of one of the towers or, well, something of the sort. Hard to tell, being blindfolded for so long and being led through so much terrain, but other than that, that's generally the limited information of where you currently are. <clears throat> I hope that is more to your liking. Feels a lot better, thank you. Yes, thank you. That's my eyes. My lord. To draw, come here for you. On behalf to of Ezra and Morgul. Yes, my lord. 
Friends of Vezrin Morgul? Correct. He's written a then please letter. Please be at ease. He's uh, requested it burnt so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Sergeants, burn this, please. I'm curious as to why Vezen Morgul has sent messengers. He knows that he is welcome here. We are uh, companions of his. We help with a few of his tasks that he has to do. And it's been... Uh, I see that Vezen Morgul is a bit more than meets the eye. No, I assume this much already. Mm. We've been working alongside him for a while now, and we've only heard things about you. He's confident that once you and I and she and you met in person, we'd be more on the same page on a few things. Get a... He had mentioned that he had had friends that had influence or ability that was not sure of my claim. I am an open book. I have heard nothing. If you want to know, you are but to ask. Your... Forgive me if I'm a little blunt. This isn't normally my wheelhouse of things. I'm more of a fighter than anything. You've clearly... You're dressed as an assassin. Well. Both of you. Wet work, yes. But I suppose that's if things go poorly. <laughs> Not for you. No, we're just here to get a measure on you, that's all. Then by all means, please. It's Ask what you wish. been pretty well talked about of your charisma. <clears throat> In fact, even on the way here, some of your men were talking about how dedicated they were to your cause. I'm curious as to what exactly that is. <clears throat> you are asking what it is that I wish to accomplish wholeheartedly, then. The bigger picture, if you will. Correct. I've heard you want to stabilize the province and do the good for the Guardians, which I'm all about, but to hear it from the person in front of me is... How much do you know about the Red Dots, Mr... Sharik. Sharik. Mm. And you, forgive me, your name. Sarah. Sarah, a pleasure to meet you both. Pleasure. The moniker I have been given is the Robber Baron. But my name is Adasco Bome. The pleasure is all mine. As I said, how much do you know about the Redots? We've only heard rumors. Haven't gone too close to them myself. We know that they're, uh... <clears throat> well, the term at each other's throats springs to mind. Unstable, perhaps? Mm -hmm. What else? And that... Well, their mother is not in a position to assist. The two of you, <clears throat> go back to your posts. Sir. Proceed, sir. I've heard you've had history if with them as well. If you and Morgul, there's no reason to watch over you with weapons in hand. Yes, I do have a history with the Red Odds. I was the Castilian. I was a master of coin, if you will, and helped run things in a administrative fashion. <clears throat> when the Baron Juldar was busy dealing with the other baronies, he left the province in my hands. Now, the death of the Baron Juldar took place a few years ago. He was to have a meeting with the Vipects 
over the dispute of the winery estate. They want the vineyards, you see. The owner of it, the owner of that land, lives in Palamon, which is their city, the Vibex. The Vibex are demanding a tithe, considering the land in their eyes should belong to them. We both know this is not how this works. This land belongs to the Redot dynasty. Regardless, Juldar wanted to meet with the Baron Vipect face to face and settle things. Unfortunately, the Baron did not want to leave with all of the Royal Guard in case they were trying to pull him away from the castle and strike at his family instead. He left the majority of the Royal Guard here. Only four went with him. The rest were mercenaries he hired from the local guild. Men with decent reputations. I advised heavily against this. I told him it does not matter how good a mercenary is. He is ruled by coin and coin alone. But his mercenaries had done a lot of work for the Rudods, and he had grown fond of some of them. So he did not heed my warning. And apparently someone else convinced him that it would be just as safe. If you do not know the rest of the story, the Baron Juldar was killed at the meeting. The mercenaries that were present never came back. The royal guards were dead with him. And no one knows who did it. We are pretty sure it was the Vipex. <clears throat> Somehow they never arrived, and it was such a great tragedy. Otherwise, the Baron Vipect would have helped Juldar, of course. But he just wasn't there yet. Trouble on the road has slowed him down. Or so the story goes. Soon after, a few days, there is a rumor that mercenaries that had a hand in the murder of the Baron Juldar had fled Notis and gone to Balerno, trying to find a ship to take them across the channel to Blackrock to escape. The, the Baron Amem got word of this. In his defense, the boy was stricken with grief, young. A young boy should never have the power to point and cause death, young man or or woman. It is a dangerous combination without experience. In his rage, despite me telling him not to do so, despite me telling him to wait and think, he took the remaining royal guard, went to Belerno and killed one third of the population, men, women, and children. He decimated Balerno. In one movement, <clears throat> the eldest son of Juldar had sullied the Radad name, lost the respect of the people, lost the respect of his men, and more importantly gained the ire of our neighbors, like the Vipects. Things would have gotten worse, I believe it. I tried to turn to Mefu, oh, forgive me, the Baroness, the, um, uh, the wife of Juldar. But she would not leave the keep, she would not leave her chambers. So struck <clears throat> with grief, she was howling for several nights. Amem was not done yet. He intended to head to Cassetto to see if he could squeeze answers out of anyone there. I refused. I took money from the treasury, a few hundred silver, and I told to the soldiers in the keep that this is not what the Baron Juldar would ever have stood for or allowed. It does not matter what the emotions are. 
Those lives that were taken will never come back, and these people will never trust the Redod name again. So I took them and I left. Before I departed, I informed the sons that unless they stood down and handed the province over, that I intended to take it by force so it may be ruled justly and properly as Juldar had decided it should be. As if to prove my point in the months to come after this happened and there was a secession, the province has only gotten worse. The soldiers there brutalized the people. They rob the merchants. The merchants themselves are corrupt and they squander their goods and spend their coin outside of Notice. They use Notice as a breeding ground for poverty to sell only the most basic menial needs to the people who suffer at the bottom and continue the lucrative slave trade. So many people in Balerno and Cosseto now are turning to do whatever sort of work that they must to make ends meet. A hungry belly that cares for its family will not think twice about taking a dagger to another person to <coughs> ensure their children survive or have something to eat. This is what the sons have allowed to breed and rot. The Baron the Mammon treats with the Imperials and allows them to bring their laws, their god, here. They made the people not only untrustworthy of the Redods, but now untrustworthy of each other as well. The people turn against each other more and more as this lector from this embassy continue to speak and have their sermons. They have been traveling to Balerno and Cassetto, along with Imperial squads and preaching Though this has not happened as of late, with the death of the Major. So hmm. yes, there is a history there. I was the Castilian for the Redods, and I was so disgusted by what his sons had did, despite my pleading, despite the position that Mefu was in, that I made my choice. I do not regret it, and I will either be victorious and secure the province, or I will die. And my hope is, if I die, that members of the council will see what I attempted to do, will see what kind of a horrible figurehead and ruler the brothers are, and send a marshal here with an army to give the province to someone who deserves it and will look after its people. You wish to sit upon the throne of Nortis as a just ruler? It, if you can call it a throne. But yes, I intend to control the province. Indeed. Your reputation, as charismatic as it is, <clears throat> Do you really think the populace would trust someone to betray their oath like that? Just with anything else, I believe that people will see where good and just really lies. It is not at the bottom of an ale barrel that Kovas throws to the people. It is not at the buttstock of a night killer that now patrols their streets and roads that the men provides. When I go to Notis, and I have secured it, all of the corrupt merchants will be rounded up and either sent away or killed. All of the corrupt nobles who had a hand in dealing with the underbelly of Gradia dealing with any of the substances or drugs or had anything to do with the Capitano will be executed publicly and the relatives told they are no longer welcome. 
anyone who aided and abetted the Pex in creating problems here and weakening our border or creating more issues for this province, their diplomats will be sent home and no longer further in treatment will be had. The Imperials will be told they are not welcome, that they are no longer a part of this province, that Gradia is for Gradians, citizens of Notis and their lectors, and their god is not welcome here. The Elves will be told to go home. They do not belong here. I do not care why they think they do. If the Imperials leave, they will leave. And if they don't, I will force them to. If I must call upon the Council to force them all out, I will. I do not care what these people think of me. I care what Gradia thinks of me. Will the people love me at first? No. Some will remember my reputation. I built this province with Juldar. With my own two hands. I walked the streets with that man. The older people will not forget. And the younger... Examples teach younger souls better than words ever will. <clears throat> and the barons and the baroness? I am fully prepared to allow them to take their family and those that are loyal to them and leave peacefully. I know fully well that they will go to other provinces and press their claim and perhaps come back and attempt to wage war. But my hope is that the council can be shown how prosperous the region has become. And when this region is prosperous and can be taxed appropriately to the council, the council will be able to use that to deal with the north. If you have noticed, there is still no stone or wood on the market. We have stone mines. We have forests. It could be a production powerhouse that the council needs. So what's the catch? This all seems too good to be true. Forgive me. Oh my lord. <laughs> I know it seems hard to believe. Which is fine. These questions must be asked and spoken about. I have no other motive than I believe at this current time I am the only one present here who already has a standing with the people, who has the know-how and the authority to do so. Hundreds of Radad soldiers that served Juldar did not walk away because I offer false promises. So that's it. You become Baron of Nautus and do all of these great things and just watch the province thrive. No catch. Is that so strange? It's Nautus, and by extension Gradio. Everyone has a second motive, usually. At least, in my circles. Gradia has not always been so bloodthirsty. There are some people who have honor still. Older families. The capital, not so much, ever since the death of the king and everyone gone their own ways. As soon as it became a merchant republic ruled by a council, coin is what mattered. Granted, the old king went mad, but the barons that have served are still the same families for a reason. The Radads were respected. Juldar was a good man. If I could have died in his place, I would have a thousand times over. I trusted him with everything. I served him for well over a decade. I am willing to bet everything on this. And if I failed, then perhaps I was not good enough, or perhaps Gradia has changed. Perhaps you are correct. But to sit here and do nothing would be a worse crime 
and my justification and means to make the province a better place. I heard there was murders of merchants that were transporting with Vezran when you first met him. You are correct, and more than that. I will not hide it. The things that I have to do to pressure the Redads are <clears throat> not good things. They are not clean. I understand that some of these acts are vile. The merchants that I target are merchants that work for nobles out of this province. They come here, they sell their goods, and take their coin out of the province. They offload their things here, which, when we had box, that was fine. But when the ports were taken over, when a man allowed the ports to be taken over by these pirates, the trade does not flow nearly the same. And unfortunately, when you have an excess of product that cannot be used, like raw iron, that was not being used until this blacksmith in the town decided to start using it. They were giant paperweights. Until someone decided to start repairs of parts of the city, the wood and the stone it just sat there at the merchant's guild and had no use. You had dynasties that would come here to take our coin to drop off goods that could not be used or shipped out because our ships were no longer our own without Bergomasco. We no longer have the ports. They have this... <laughs> shipping company that are pirates. So yes, the merchants that serve these nobles that bring coin out of this province, I hit their caravans and I have their throats slit. And I take their goods to be used here. To repair my defenses. To feed my men. To fuel my war. We have not harmed locals. We have not killed locals. So what's the plan then? Wait out Nortis until they starve? The initial idea was to deprive the barons, the sons, of stone and iron to make them concede but rather than come and meet me at the table, they were too prideful, and the walls fell apart. Their equipment of their soldiers falls into disrepair, and still they pretend that there is nothing wrong. If I wanted to tomorrow, I could march on the city with the hundreds of men I have, walk right through the holes in your walls, and slaughter the garrison. But I don't, do you know why? Because there are people between me and the keep. The way that Notice is built, if I was to lay siege to the castle, the people are in my way. They will be caught in the crossfire. I have waited a long time and I have gotten siege weapons, finally, trebuchets, catapults. And with luck, I will be able to besiege the keep itself. But there's still the concern that debris could fall into the town below. Unfortunately, because of Amem and Kovaz's dealings, the Vepex have now sensed weakness, and they are massing. They are drilling their troops across our border. They look to expand their dynasty. So I will have to make my move, and I will have to make it soon. And if you are friends with Vergen Morgul, then you know what that means. Did that surgeon ever arrive? He's treating the wounded now. Most are gonna make it. There's still one more being treated. When he's done, bring him up here so I may give him his pay. Understood. I'll go fetch him. You've been in open conflict with something. Uh, 
I don't understand your question. You have fresh wounded. Ah. <clears throat> it is a long story. Has Vezrin confided in you anything about this province that is special? Vezrin's erratic a lot of the time. He says a lot of things. He. We usually just do the jobs he gets us to do. I don't think too hard about it. He doesn't tell us much. At all. Sometimes. A shame. Well, to answer your question, there are things in this province that foreign entities would like to get their hands on. And I have been clashing with them. I I have also had to take the time to fortify the mines, the stone mine and the iron mines thereby, as the only reason why Nautis has not yet been attacked is because of my men, preventing them from getting that close. I'm being pressured by all sides, and my resources will not last forever. I will have to take Nautis and soon. You say outside threats, are you referring to the elves? You are astute. Yes, the elves. <clears throat> they are where they do not belong. They clash with my men, trying to get their hands on something. Of what I am not exactly sure. It does not matter what it is, because this land does not belong to them. It belongs to Gradia, to us. <clears throat> do not need to think any deeper than that. If they want it, they should not have it. This special thing you talked about. Elaborate. What is your question? Well, is that what you mean when you say if they want to take it? You're referring to this special thing about the province. Perhaps. I am not sure what exactly it is. Vesel and Morgul and I are very forthright with each other. I would suggest that you do the same. And I will do the same. There will be no harm to you here. Well, if you think there's merit there, maybe we should listen to Vesel more often. So you're not sure what they're looking for, then? These groups? It depends, Miss Sarah. Are we going to be candid with each other? I want to. Then I will start. In good faith. There are places underneath the surface. old fortifications, cities, whatever you want to call them. My men have found openings in different parts of the province, and of course, with them, elves. Elves who do not belong. They do not even have a deal with the barons. They're here of their own accord, trespassing, trying to enter and break in. I secured one of these places recently. The elves came back in force. They did not entreat to speak. They wanted to spill blood. With fighting both the orcs and preparing for this offensive, I could not contest them at the moment. So this location is still in their hands. I must secure the province first before I think of such things. I'd express to Vezrin my interest and shared with him some of my history and past and old notes. I was quite happy to see that there was someone else who understood <clears throat> these things. I assume that he is... what, not spoken to you? Or is there something now more now to be said? 
Yeah, he's mentioned a few things. As I'm sure you understand the nature of it, it pays to be, uh, discreet. Did not mean to deceive. Not here. Here, if you're sitting here and I'm speaking with you, it is because I respect the man who sent you. As I said, no harm will come to you. Sharik, I'm going to speak freely. What these foreign entities, the elves and the drow, what they're looking for. It is the lost city of Nith Memelarian. Probably As you say that, his eyes will squint at you instantly, the finger will go up, and he'll turn his back to you. Do remind me of Ezra. Mm hmm. You said that like it is a bad thing. No. Mr. Morgo is a very intelligent elf. I have enjoyed speaking with him for hours, not even about business. Mm. No, he just gets this. His intelligence stops at the end of a book. He gets this twinkle in his eye when he wants to learn something. <laughs> Beth Mamalorian is what you said. Years ago, when I was with the Baron Juldar, the forest here was sick. <clears throat> it was dark, there was fogs, the animals and the creatures were twisted, teeth where they should not be, limbs where they should not be, it was a nightmare. The Baron Juldar decided eventually to deal with it himself and he led a contingent of men, I came with him. And we combed through the forest to find the source. Eventually this source was found. It was a strange, small thing. A rock of sorts. Angular on all sides. It was jet black. Laying in the bottom of a lake or pond that should not have existed. Most of the forest had turned to swamp land. We did not know what to do about it, so we contacted the... Institute, where a Professor Schildbrook was sent, and they extracted this. They had words for us, of course, for touching it, but we did not have a choice. We had to make sure things were safe. As soon as the stone was securely transported away, the forest began to change back to normal. But because of this, some of the land had sunk from the wetness of the ground. And it revealed buildings, buildings that were buried. They are still here in this province. They should still be above ground. But the problem is they are extremely close to the Eshma Dalas border. It is not something that I would dare to try and dispute investigating until I have control of the province. Number one, there are things down below that I would not mess with unless I had manpower and proper equipment. And two, the elves have already shown their interest. They cannot be allowed to gain access to these things. But I digress. <laughs> there was a scholar that was in this province that I had allowed to look at these ruins. And there were notes that they had given me precursors. This place, old records that were put together, is it used to be a town or a city. It was elven in nature. Great marble walls, gilded with gold. Grand forests surrounded, but the inside was urban. Streets of silver, jewels. You know how the high elves are. But there was something there 
something there of import that was directly connected to some sort of research that was taking place in Elysium, if that name means anything to you. Unfortunately, yes. It is not as bad as you think when it's handled by appropriate minds. I have been to Elysium when I was younger, of course. I was a mercenary. I gathered artifacts for buyers. I traveled the badlands of Agmadrad, forays into Elysium, which is now Moro Gorath. I was in my twenties then, about two and a half decades ago. I have seen a great many terrible things and amazing things. To walk in these places, regardless of what history is attached to marvel at what civilization could be if we would but stop murdering each other and, and learn from mistakes. To me, it is intoxicating. Manuscripts, artifacts. There was something that I was sent along with a handful of mercenaries to acquire. It was something that was classified as Midas. An artifact that could use alchemy to turn other elements to gold. Lesser metals that could turn things to gold. We pressed on long and hard to get to this thing. <laughs> but due to our luck, the vault it was in was ripped open with great strength. The metals we did not even recognize. As we tried to sink under it to get inside the vault, some of the jagged edges of this vault door hit my steel and cut it like butter. I know not what this vault was made out of. But they must have taken great strength to create. By the time we got in there, someone far smarter than us had gotten to it. So it was all gone. We wound up falling back to a civic center. I gave all of these notes to Veslin Morgul, if you wish to read them, as a sign of good faith. The surgeon, sir. But these things are here. Surgeon! Please, come forward. Understood. I apologize at which the means you were brought here. My doctor, Dr. Hadrin, unfortunately met his end recently with an orc excursion. I could not let my men die. I heard <laughs> from my soldiers that you saved most of them. Is this true? Yes. I did all that I could. All of them are accounted for. How much would you charge for that, surgeon? I was already paid by one of the uh, one of the other soldiers downstairs. Ten. Corpo, bring me my purse from upstairs. Or downstairs. I'll go get it. I would like to send a man to notice. To be trained as a surgeon, the man was a uh, doctor that had operated in the north. He dealt with plagues and sicknesses. She understands the body, but he does not understand surgery. These cleavers that the orcs use, great gashes in the body. I need someone able to treat my men. I do not wish to bring you out here. I know that this can put you in danger. So I've asked that I send this man to you under the guise of a traveler and you teach him what you know. I will pay you for this. I do understand. What is their name? It is not a command, Sergeant. It is a request. I will do all that I can. Wonderful. You'll be told the specifics of their name. Tomorrow. Hmm. There you go. Hmm. 
you'll be thrown a heavy pouch of 40 silver. I'm in the wrong business. It Thank is you. not much. But it is hard to pay for men's lives or give a monetary value to lives. What you have done is appreciated. My men will escort you as far as they can to the outskirts of Nodis, but from there you'll have to ride yourself, lest my men are killed. I do understand that fully. Thank you. Your name, Surgeon? Soma. Soma. I saw her guide you. Be safe. And go with our blessing you for whatever well. it means. Of course. To you as well and to your men. <clears throat> you look distraught, Lady Drow. There's just a lot going on. There is. Oh, don't go. Don't fall out the window. Trust me, I understand it more than most. There are people at the other side of the table that were my friends. People I cared about, that's... Do not understand that blind loyalty does not save people or fix things. I love Juldar. I love Mefu. But I love my people more. I've heard enough. I think I have too. You've shown a lot of good faith. May I return the gesture? I would appreciate it as such. <clears throat> you are correct. We are dressed like assassins. I am an assassin or a thief. I do the dirty work that Vezrin cannot do. This is a map that I recovered from inside the Orc stronghold in the cracks.